You lead the way, my friend. All right, cool. Good to go. Sweet. All right, so thank you guys for coming. Uh, we've, we've been live, but we'll kind of get started now. So uh, yeah, we're doing the podcast live, which is really cool for us. We did uh, Invictus Boss Invitational last year live as well. So it's almost like a little bit of prep work for us, but just a different style of podcast. So super excited to get this uh, done today. And uh, awesome guest, of course, Vern Prince, the man. So uh, what's going on, Vern? We'll get excited. started. <laughs> excited to be here. I appreciate it. Uh, uh, and, and we will do a little question and answer at the end. So if you have any questions about the competition, about the athletes, um, or about anything, we will, we will do that. I mean, you could even do it as we're going through, but we'll have a little time at the end, five, 10 minutes, have any questions. So you think about some things to talk about for discussion. But yeah, let's kick it off. So the podcast that we did last, we really dove into the origin story of the Invictus Boss Invitational, the IBI as we're calling it. Um, this is season four. So super exciting. And today we really wanted to, we talked about the origin story. If you want to hear more about that, go listen to the last podcast. We can, we can bring some stuff up on it, obviously, as it, as it comes. But what we really want to talk about is the competition this year. Dive into it. Dive into the athletes. Um, dive into what's the past. So I like to start these off with rapid fire questions. Uh, we'll switch up a little bit. Usually I ask about your coffee. Usually I ask about <laughs> your favorite breakfast spot. Uh, did you get a coffee, by the way, at Starbucks? No, I got hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. I think most people know that <laughs> about me. So. Um, so one of the ones I wanted to start off with, and, and one of the reasons uh, we're doing this style of podcast, because you're a big Bill Simmons guy. Yeah. You love the Bill Simmons podcast. And um, in preparation for this, I went and listened to a lot of the Bill Simmons, the stuff he's done recently. And... Um, Obviously, it's a lot about basketball right now with the basketball guy with the NBA uh, finals. But I was curious, as I'm listening to him, like, why does Burnham love Bill Simmons? Why, why is he into the Bill Simmons podcast? And I think I figured out, and tell me if I'm wrong. Oh, go ahead. It's, I mean, it's, it's sports oriented. Right. But he does a lot of, uh, he puts a lot of like shows and like pop culture and, and, and music and, and television into that podcast as well. So it's pretty well rounded. And I think I drew a parallel to the Invictus Boss Invitation with that. You're very, obviously, it's sports-focused, it's cross focus, but there's a lot of themes, the underlying themes. Um, obviously, with the, um, with the origin story, uh, with the, uh, the, the family freedom, uh, with the t-shirts, uh, the freedom t-shirts, with the music, the way the workouts are styled, the way the workouts, uh, the titles of the workouts, the music behind it. So I kind of see that parallel between uh, what you're doing with, with Boss Invitational and kind of like that style of like sports, music, culture uh, together. Very perceptive. I love yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, I should take, I know you thanked everybody. I should take the time. I, I appreciate all you showing up, especially because a lot of you hear me talk five times a week. So like <laughs> to have people show up to hear me talk again is awesome. Um, in terms of like pop culture and the parallel, you're right. Like um, I feel like uh, there's a lot of pop culture in the CrossFit space, right? Uh, and I'm not throwing anybody under the bus. A couple of people were like, who's on this shirt? And I'm like, it's a living <laughs> legend, Andre 3000. But uh, yeah, you sh- uh, I, s- I know I said this before, and I know you talked about the origin story, but a lot of times I put stuff in the workout, so I'm not bored, right? So like, I'm looking at a workout name, and I'm like, my ADD kicks in, and I'm like, oh, I'm listening to 50 Cent. Let's call this, this, this wad, right? The debut album, 50 Cent, and go nuts. So uh, I like to put a lot of my life into the cross. That's what I have to draw from. Yeah, you know? yeah, I love that. And I want to talk about the T-shirts too. Um, I have some questions on that sure. afterwards, but yeah, I just wanted to get started on that. So, music, obviously a big part of your process. Kind of rapid fire style question. What are you listening to right now? What do you like for for artists? What do you like for music? What do you like for songs? A whole lot of Kendrick. Um, a whole lot of Kendrick. We were actually talking about this. Uh, uh, I love my music choices, <laughs> especially for classes. <laughs> but uh, it's going to be a lot of Kendrick. It's going to be a lot of uh, some Drake. If I'm feeling grimy, and a little bit of that. And I'll throw in some EDM, like. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think. We just, me and Chris, the producer, shout out, Lost Art Photography, Newport Home and Drone. We just did the workout before this podcast, right. which we like doing that. We mm-hmm. like to kind of like just, like you said, get the demons out or like, you know, just kind of get in the mindset of, of uh, you know, Talking to people, I'm trying to remember. Sometimes when you're deep in a workout like that, you don't even listen. You don't even hear the music. I can't remember what you played today. You know, it's crazy. <laughs> Some people know this about me already. Um, as a CrossFit coach, the music. 
Yeah. Right? <laughs> so it's like y'all are your eyes are everybody's in there sweating and they're doing their thing. And I'm the one or the coach is the one watching it. And it get it's a it's an energy thing, right? Uh I do feel as a, a coach or so I need sometimes I need to pick me up too. So I might play a song that gets me hyped. And I, uh, whatever I was playing at the time was probably just something that just got me excited. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's good. A um, little bit of a, a different discussion. Continue with the rapid fire. So I was going through the Instagram account mm-hmm. for the IBI and I saw the Active Recovery series. Tell me about that. Yeah, uh, it's. it's uh, <laughs> you ever ever seen um. Sundays, like yeah, yeah. the series where like it's people are Sunday and they put it on, on, on uh, social media and it's them just laid out on a Sunday. So I just wanted, I'm trying something different on social media uh, with the active recovery and we're seeing where that goes. Yeah. Also like there's a the um, mindset. Yeah, I apologize for cutting you off. No, Let go, me go, know go. if it stop me anytime. <laughs> uh, for the Invictus Office Invitational specifically, it's a once a year event. So like, only so much like show up June 24th you can do in the middle of November so I'm lucky enough where I talk to some people and we're just creative ideas and like let's go active recovery like let's do a podcast live let's throw out some shoes like we're throwing things against the wall and seeing what sticks if I'm being honest with you and a lot of it is sticking and some of it might not so that's where my head was at with the active recovery series See how uh, Loco sticks afterwards. Loco Fenway. Oh, Loco Fenway's going to stick. <laughs> I was going to stick for sure. I was going to stick for sure. But. Um, this is more of a, a joke question, but uh, last rapid fire I got for you. Is it true that the, the burn K Prince, that the K stands for clean and jerk? Clean and jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that in one of your Instagram posts. <laughs> Not true. Not true. Not true. <laughs> Not true, but that's funny. I put, yeah, I yeah, probably you, put, I think you put that or somebody commented it. <laughs> yeah, no, not true. But you're a fan of the clean and jerks. I'm a fan of the clean. You know what's funny? <laughs> I am a fan of cleans, clean ladders in comps. I think clean ladders are safer. Uh, no disrespect to anybody that does snatch ladders in a comp because I can see people aggregating that. But a clean, clean and jerk ladder in a comp, thumbs up. Love it. And that was in uh, season two of the event? There's or been a clean ladder every single year. Oh, okay. Every single year. I'm just changing the weights. Uh, for those who don't know, like, I don't even call it some discrepancy, but people are asking me about the weights, and I know you get to it. But uh, we're thinking about adjusting the weights. Uh, shout out, Sarah. Uh, adjusting the weights to make them heavier this year. Mm-hmm. Yep, we'll get into that. All right, so starting off, uh, first discussion, senior year. So year four. Uh, sort of thinking freshman, sophomore, junior, senior year, kind of going at it like the high school phases here. So year four of the Invictus Boss Invitational. Uh, what's new? What's, what's exciting this year? This year, I think the hype machine is bigger from the audience. Mm-hmm. Uh, I spent three years trying to hype it up myself and being like, hey, you heard about this? You heard about this? Heard about this? And uh, around holidays, there's more people coming up to me being like, when's the Invitational? Uh, tells me a lot of good things, right? It, what are the wads? What are the qualifiers? Where are we doing it? And for me, that alleviates a lot of pressure, but that also lets me know that we're doing something right. Love it. That's cool. Uh, what it's, what's different from last year? What's some things that either you saw last year, like, I want to switch this up a little bit, or I'm going to go more into this? Um, I, last year, I was hell-bent on not only having two wads in the final. And in, in the CrossFit landscape, and I'm going to nerd out a little bit, so I apologize. Yeah. In a CrossFit competition, you need more tests. So I have three tests and then the final. What I found last year, I was so, I was so like, we got to make this competition two and a half hours, no matter what. We got to get in and out. That only had two wads, and I, I thought that uh, created room, too much room for outliers. Mm-hmm. And in three wads, you can actually test fitness. And the final is, and not to say the final last year wasn't pure, but then your final is pure. That was a common theme. I, I pulled a lot of the athletes before this podcast, and I asked them, how would you like the qualifier? How, what are you looking forward to with the wads? And uh, they were, pretty much all of them are saying, I thought the qualifier was a great test of fitness so far. So they haven't, obviously they haven't done, a lot of them haven't done the wads yet. Some of them probably tested them a little bit, but they said it was well-rounded, great test of overall. I appreciate, I appreciate them. I appreciate yeah. the athletes. I do. We, we talk a lot. Uh, all right. So let's talk about the qualifiers. So these came out in, was it December? 
Uh, I launched them Thanksgiving. Some of the people even in this room did qualifiers. Uh, yeah. So the names of the qualifiers were based on high school superlatives. Super, superlatives. <laughs> um, so, and, I, and again, going back to what we talked about earlier, I love the attention to detail. How you tell each one is kind of like, um, uh, I forget the name of one, but it was like best, was best, uh, best in class and like uh, different, different superlatives. I it's going to sound bad. Yeah. I forget the name <laughs> yeah, of them too. That's all right. I'm so, that's I'm so right. like, I'm so like, what are we doing right now? <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, it's crazy. It's, it's interesting. I'm very linear. Yeah. So I'm so like laser focused on now. I'm like, did we do that? <laughs> yeah. You like you did. can tell me what we did and I'm down. And you had the little ribbon next to each one, and, like the high school picture. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, this is really well done. I could tell, I could tell you had fun doing it together. Um, and I wanted to ask you, did you have a superlative in high school? Or what would it be? <laughs> the loudest. <laughs> Let's go. Good. <laughs> Good. I like the that. loudest. Um, another thing, I don't know if this was different from last year to this year, but you had that scaled option too with the call. Is that new or have you had that? Uh, yeah, we've had a scaled option before. Uh, and this, this is going really broad. Every year... I would say our competition draws in the 97th to 99th percentile in CrossFit. Like crazy athletes, which is awesome. But there has been a clamoring from people saying, like, hey, like, if you do have a CrossFit competition that's all inclusive, you know, we want representation in the RX category, for lack of a better term. So I've had scale before. I think I all the things going well this year. For those who are not watching, I just knocked on wood. Um, <laughs> For if things go well this year, I plan on having uh, on site a elite and an RX comp, or like party division or scaled or whatever term you want to use. So it opens up the field for everyone. Yeah, the the scale, I love it. Opportunity for everybody. Opportunity That's for good. everybody. And like the thing is, in the CrossFit space or the fit, forget the CrossFit space for a second, the fitness <laughs> space, it's supposed to be a common theme in my head is that fitness should be for everyone. And, uh, and people that are close to me know I rant about this all the time. So fitness for everyone. And I, you know, we promote, we're showcasing the athletes' hard work. I want to showcase athletes that may not have a four to seven from five pound clean and jerk yet. No? So that's where my headspace is for next year. And jumping ahead a little bit, but no, no teams this year. No, teams, team. If I say I'm going to be somewhere at 1 o'clock, I'll be there at 1 o'clock, or whatever it is, right? Yeah. So, like, with teams, and, and it's not a knock, it was like, if, it, it takes two people. So if somebody gets injured, now your teammate, you have somebody that's like, I can't find a teammate, it's a scramble. It was a little too much. Yeah. Uh, I you talked about me being organized, which I'm like, in my, my inner soul is like, <laughs> am I? <laughs> but I, don't, um, I need to keep things simple because my mind is frantic. So I have to make sure that everything is boom, boom, boom. Everything is linear. Everything is it'll get out of control. Fair. So you want to make sure it fits the overall product of what you want to put out there. Yeah, because the, you know, the, the essence of a competition or it's a sporting event. So I want the athletes to have fun. But I also want the spectators to have fun. And the spectators watching. It's, uh, I equate it to a concert experience. The music's on stage. Everybody's in the act. The musicians doing the thing. The crowd's doing the thing. And everybody is enjoying the thing together. So um, I know it's supposed to be rapid fire. And I'm getting along. No, you're good. But like um, teams made it frantic. Mm -hmm. And I, I, individuals I can keep here. Yeah, yeah. So, and if, 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 if I'm lucky enough, or if we're, we're lucky enough, because I shouldn't say I'm, because I'm not the only person working on this. Um, you're working on it, they're working on it, you know, the people listening are working on it. If we're lucky enough where it gets to a space where it's big enough, and like, my mind, I have some grandiose ideas, then I'll put teams in, you know, yeah, yeah. when we rent out the Boston Garden and we just... Let's go. Let's go, <laughs> right? I know what we talked about last time on the podcast was the whole idea behind this composition um, is you want to you you be a show. Right. Spotlight. That's why you call it the seasons. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like that's probably why you, you've chosen every decision you want to make is, is towards that final product. Yes. Yeah. For sure. Cool. I like that. Um, December 24th, you had a post on Instagram. <laughs> um, it was about the in-house qualifying workouts. It was a rainy Friday. 
and you, you um, were emotional. You were saying how, how happy you were that people ended up showing up for that rainy Friday on Christmas Eve to do some of those qualifying workouts. Um, oh. I was like, December 24th. Yeah. I was like, did I say happy holidays? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah, it was. I remember actually, I, yeah, I, I, try to, I try to remember what people do, right? And people that are good to me. And, and, and I'm not a, by nature, I'm actually not very like uh, overflowing with compliments. As a matter of fact, Sid was making fun of me. She says, keep people here, and I do. But uh, so, from time to time, when I sit down and reflect, it's, it was Christmas Eve. I remember, I think I've got 10 people tested out the qualifiers for me. Um, some, at some point, and I'll, I'll hearken back to today, and I'll probably hearken back to everybody in the room. At some point, I'll thank them for being here. And I don't know if it's going to be today, but yeah. in my mind, there's a mental note of like, thanks for, or even people listening. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't, I don't remember the post, but I probably was feeling some type of, maybe I was listening to a Drake album and I was like, let me, let me say, I appreciate you. I love that. That's good. All right. So we're going to get into the workouts themselves mm -hmm. next. So we're going to go through each one and kind of explain the name, explain the workout, what you think. I know you tested some of them. Yeah. I usually test a lot yep. of them. Um, usually it's like a, a combination of myself and uh, Justin Wright and just, <laughs> and yeah. So yeah, that's a lot. All right, so we're gonna pull that up right here. So we got first one, Kingston Crusher. Yeah. <laughs> Three rounds for time. Mm -hmm. Oh, let, let's explain the name first. Yeah, it's yeah. easy. <laughs> listen, man, listen, I like to say there was this crazy, uh, crazy thought process. Uh, Kingston Realty sponsored the comp. Let's go. Yeah, good, you know what yeah. I mean? Let's go. Yeah. Like, you put up enough money, I might get, you know, get it tatted <laughs> on my neck. So that's, that's really behind it, he, you know, and Kingston, Realty owned by Adam Munt, who's a member here, was nice enough to uh, sponsor one of the wads. So, because um, he was so nice to sponsor the wad and the amount he sponsored the wad for, I was like, name it, bro. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's the um, capitalism one on that one. Love it. Which is great. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Hey, support the comp. Let's support the athletes. Let's go. Support the Seriously, support the yeah, comp, support the athletes. athletes. Cool. So, that workout is three rounds for time, mm -hmm. 40 wall balls mm -hmm. at 20. 20 pounds, 14 pounds, 30 crossovers. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing that crossover movement again. So I want to mm -hmm. ask you about that. And then 50 foot handstand walk with five foot intervals, 15 minute time cap. Is this one you tested? Yep. Yeah. How'd it go? Horrible. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so that's it. Like, and I'll make this one quick. This yeah. is quick. It's just yeah. like test wall ball capacity. You got to pick, uh, I can go programming one on one, but I'm, you got you to do something with the wall balls that is a little aggressive. Mm. So can you hold on for 40? Cool. Can you hold on for 40? Awesome. Crossovers were a movement in quarterfinals, and it's a high skill movement. And, and even, like, it's cool to see, and it's a little cooler than double unders, because you can see the crossover. Yeah. And then handstand walking, I, mean, I want to see people see what you got upside down. <laughs> yeah. So that's all. I love it. Is the time cap aggressive on that, or is you, is you should be able to get it done pretty much under that time cap, 15 minutes? No, but time caps, I think, in competition should be aggressive yeah i don't yeah. um and this is only this is not in class i'm a i'm in favor of longer time caps mm. because we're in these sweat together in a competition we got to go man yeah you know so yeah it should be aggressive and uh 40 wall balls is that unbroken it's, that's that's the point yeah. i don't want to see yeah i think next level's up karen's <laughs> 150 yeah 40 times 120 so a little under karen so I got to see if you can just hold on for big sets for wall balls. Love it. Love it. That's good. It's good. Uh, how, do you, how do you feel the crossovers? You personally? I don't like them. You don't like them? I don't like them. <laughs> I'm very human. I'm very human. I'm very selfish. I don't like yeah. doing things I can't do. Yeah. So I was double unders. I'm like, okay. I, was, I, I remember joking around. Somebody was like, you can do double unders well, so crossovers should be no big deal. And of course, <laughs> because my fragile ego, I was like, of course crossovers are going to be a big deal. I'm going to stomp Like I'm stomping on grapes. It was not fun. No. No. So From but. pulling a lot of the athletes, a lot of them said, um, if they hadn't already been training for that for semis or, or quarters, there's, a lot of them said, I wouldn't be practicing crossover so if it wasn't for that workout. Yeah. So a lot of them are getting better at it because you broke down that <laughs> they're practicing it. <laughs> a lot of them are getting better also because I send them an email, one sentence, hey, practice your crossover. Yeah, okay, <laughs> that helps too. <laughs> yeah. All right, next workout. We got Gator Belts, Patty Melts, and Monte Carlos. Explain the name of that one. That's just a line from Outcast. I know, I knew that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I knew you knew that one. <laughs> and I was, I was so the truth is because it's three parts. And it's three parts. Okay. And uh, 
the 600 meter row was going to be one score. Uh, this is going to be nerd CrossFit stuff, but everybody's fine. Mm -hmm. We're in a CrossFit gym. 600 <laughs> meter row is going to be one score. The burpees over the bar for four minutes is going to be one score. And then cleans at 255, 175, I'm leaning, mm -hmm. uh, for, uh, is going to be another score. So I just thought three workouts in one, like one succession. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, three things. And I was like, uh, I think I was like, T bars, left eye, chili. Nah. And I was like, <laughs> bah, 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 bah. And then I was like, oh, and then <laughs> I was just hit me. Yeah, there it is, right? <laughs> Love it. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the power cleans because someone, um, we, we can shout out in, in Instagram, someone in the comments was saying, oh, what do you think about um, the weight for the females? Um, the, where we got? Because the weights are 225, 155 currently. It's 255, 155. In the, in the CrossFit setting for scaling options, this is, they usually decipher this. And Bones, I think you're in the audience, I'm like looking up, but tell me if I'm wrong. But usually it's, they do 70%. Mm. So if the, 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 the weight's 100 pounds, you do 70 for RX. Uh, same thing I believe for machines. In the class setting, that makes sense. In the comp setting, that doesn't matter. Because the, 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 the males and females are on the same floor. Mm. So the, the weight being uh, correlative doesn't matter. Mm. Now, then I look at it like uh, plates. So for 255 for men, I got 245s and 215s. It's easy. I'm not looking for change plates. I can just boom, boom, boom. Mm. 155 for women is 245s and 215s. So easy. Mm. But there has been some clamor that... 155 is light, and I, the, a lot of people have, a, a lot of these the female athletes have 185, 200 pound, 245 pound cleans. So I don't want to make anything official, but I'm leaning heavily, like I'm 91% sure I'm going to add, I'm going to add weight. I'm going to make it 175, and for because A, it's heavier, mm -hmm. and B, it's clean. It's 45s and then 25s on each side. So yeah. we go. Love it. Love it. Could be a game day decision. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> all right. It's strange. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah it's strange. Got to run tight. Right. No, that'd be game day. All right, cool. Um, I th oh, that was the other question I had on this workout. So each one is scored individually. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. It's three different tests. The rows, yeah. different tests. Burpees, yuck, right? Burpees over a bar, <laughs> different tests. But it does. Yeah, there's um, because these CrossFit comps don't have weight classes. Mm -hmm. So it's just there's things that favor like if you're um there's a uh, I don't want to say his name's Michael. Uh, he's a 6'9 Swedish rower. And he's just like, I love wall balls days. And I'm like, nope, Michael. You know what I mean? You're 6'9. So, you know, so like certain things favor athletes. So that's what it is. Cool. I like that. Um, the 600 meter row on that, that's, what, what are we thinking for pacing? For don't. don't, just go, just sprint. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's easy for me to look, um, yeah. uh, you know, like a gargoyle from up on high. I'm like, pace. I'm like, go fast in the beginning, go fast in the middle, go fast in the end. Let's go. I'm trying. Yeah, I got front row seats. I'm trying to see something. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. So I'm thinking the, the split time on the rower is, is you know, whatever number per mm -hmm. 500. So I think a lot of people on a longer distance are probably somewhere around that two-minute mark. Mm -hmm. So shorter distance probably is closer to like the 130, 140. So probably looking at that for like split times for maybe, maybe the 600 meter because it's just over that 500 meter mark. So maybe somewhere in the 90 second to yeah, yeah somewhere people around gonna, there. People are gonna blow up. I just I, there wasn't too much thought into that. I wanted to yeah. test the row and I didn't want to test like something that gets cool. tested all the time. Yeah, uh, yeah. 500,000, 2K, and like it's a great test of fitness, sure. but snooze. Yeah, that's tested that a million times. <laughs> try something different. Yeah, try just a different number. And, and 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 maybe I'm selfish in this manner. I'm looking at something. I'm looking at the charts, and I'm looking at how to put things together. And I'm like, okay, 500, 1,000. It's been done before. This has been done before. Like, what excites me? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because if it excites me, then it can excite them. Mm. Love it. Uh, that, yeah, that one had. Uh, I think that one had a lot of the chatter. Was was that workout as far as which is cool. It means people are talking about it. People are interested. And uh, I know the clean weights, that's just a testament that uh, everybody's getting stronger. <laughs> people, are really, <laughs> people are really strong in CrossFit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I have these conversations with my coworkers a lot. And I was like, people are really, really good. Yeah. Really good Every year. and really fit. <laughs> I know I'm just me being me, just being a child. How do I look on that camera? Do I look good? Thanks, man. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, 
But yeah. Cool. All right, we got one more to talk about. Sure, sure. Get rich or die trying. Yeah, yeah. I was li- definitely listening to a lot of it <laughs> while I was creating that workout. <laughs> Let's go. Mm-hmm. So we have 50 pull-ups, mm-hmm. 30 cal echo bike, mm-hmm. 50 dumbbell power snatches at 70 pounds, 50 pounds. Athlete must complete five reps each, then switch until snatches are done. So not purely alternating. It's five, 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 five. Uh, ten minute time cap. Mm-hmm. Uh, me and Chris were talking about this workout on the on the way up, seeing how how we break it down, how much we think each uh, each portion would take. But it seems like an aggressive time cap on that one too. Did you, is this one you test out as well? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Every, every, everybody will get sub ten. Yeah. Okay. Everybody will. Cool. Cool. Uh, I want, and I'm gonna I am gonna use the collective because I'm gonna say okay. we. So uh, it wasn't. Originally 50 pull-ups. It was mm. chest to bar because in a comp, it's easy to test chest to bar. Right? The chest touches the bar, it doesn't. But like, oh. the person has eyes. They can see if the chin went over or not. Mm. And then with chest to bar, it's a little slower. And believe it or not, because pull-ups are faster, it raises the heart rate up. So I was like, let's just some pull-ups at them. Because I, all I want that is, I want that to be a heart rate spike and go and see what you can do. And, and I, I'm going to get long-winded on this one. Go for it. So everybody thinks that like being a great CrossFit athlete is like, I work harder and I do more mobility and I eat right, which is all thumbs up. But the, the, the ones that are a little different, they run into the burning building. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like I, I, and I'm, I'm going to name drop a little bit and, and – because I'm fortunate. My coworkers throughout the years have been, you know, Justin Wright, Steph Chung this year, Tola. Like, these aren't like, these are people like, they're household names in the CrossFit space, right? So when I work out with them, when I have the rare opportunities to work out with them, and I'm looking at them, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> right? And the truth is, is like, when it, it starts to hurt, they go, they run into the burning mm-hmm. building. So mm-hmm. I, I'm not trying to be a jerk about it. I want to see who runs into the fire. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of work there. Like, let's let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Because yeah. because <laughs> none of the movements. No, I don't have I don't have the mindset to make anything too complicated. I'm actually hmm. in the CrossFit space and programming. I'm conservative. Like, I, I, uh, Bones and me have probably heard me say this a million times. I like CrossFit being CrossFit. Mm. I don't like ancillary weirdness. So can you do a pull-up? Can you squat? Can you row? Can you jump? Like, if you can do that, let's see how fast you can do it. Because yeah. that's what a CrossFit comp is. I've, I've found, too, the simpler the workout, a lot of times the harder it is. The harder it is. is. Yeah, the, hard, yeah, the yeah. way harder it is. So <laughs> that's where I'm at. Cool. I like it. All right. So let's talk a little bit about, um, well, a little bit more about the testing. So you, sure. you tested all three. I know you tested with Justin. Mm-hmm. Um, how would you guys feel? It's, it's a funny thing, like, <laughs> it is, I test it with people that are like, like, Justin will always lay down on the ground and be like, not bad, you're gonna prove that. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, buddy. Uh, but it, it, it's, it's progressed a little bit. There's more, there's been people, you know, I, even in this audience right now, there's been people that test the workouts for me. Um, I, I, I want to feel the workout first. So the mm-hmm. testing process for me is I do the workout alone. Cool. I see where it feels, I see some pitfalls. And sometimes, like, I, there was, there's actually the first lot in there. Halfway through, I was like, F this noise. I'm not doing this. Because I was like, I'm not, but it wasn't like, I don't want to do the workout. It didn't make sense when I was doing it. Yeah. So I changed something. I was like, okay, stop, reset, change. And then test it, test it, test it. And you test it, I think, I think it's, I think I want to test it so I know how it goes. I want to test it for time reasons. Also, I think it is irresponsible. As the, I'm not saying the programmer for a gym, and I want to separate the two because that's mm. different. Mm. But I think it's irresponsible for the person coordinating the competition wads not to test the workouts. I mean, if we go big level CrossFit, they send people out to test the wads. And, it's yeah. a, and I guarantee you they've tested the wads and they'll be like, thumbs up, and they test the wads, like, no way. <laughs> so that's all it yeah, is. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I like that a lot. And especially you being the person kind of behind the whole thing, just knowing how each one feels. Yeah. I think it's super important. Well, I yeah. think this is, why, this is why the sport is good and this is why the sport has popu- you know, gotten so popular. Because everybody does, cross, you know, you're a fan of CrossFit because you do CrossFit. So, you know, that whole, you know, burpees suck. People are like, <laughs> oh, I know. Like, you know, you, uh, somebody said this way better than I could. You're sharing the blood bath together and you come out the other side and then you're closer. Mm. And that's what mm. the yeah. beauty of it is. Yeah, 
I love that. That's good. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, the the format. So we have uh, is it twenty male and twenty female now? No, oh, it's um, more than that? no, because it, it. So I have fifty three athletes. Thirty. This is like roughly thirty five male, twenty five female. Um, a truth be told, I, I I told this to the athletes, and I'll say this: I'm not really looking for more athletes. Athletes. Mm. I love the. Uh, I, love, I could go on a diatribe, but I love the athletes we have. And I'm not knocking anybody else, but yeah, I, yeah. I really like the athletes they have. And they've been riding with us for a long time, riding yeah. with, with the comp, um, either for years or years past. So I, these, these are the people that I want to see perform. Sweet. That's, I mean, going back to the whole idea of like, this is a show, th these are your stars. They're, yeah. they're all stars. Yeah. They're, yeah. They're, the, point, the goal is for me not to. Obviously, I love this, but the goal <laughs> is for for the athletes to do the podcast because they're the stars. Yeah. Uh, they should have, I really believe there's people in this comp that should have a media team behind them, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that's awesome. Um, and I know what separates your uh, competition from a lot of others out there is obviously putting the emphasis on the athletes, but mm -hmm. also the cash prizes. So I want to talk a little bit about that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I believe in giving cash that day. That's, uh, <laughs> this, it's, um, a lot of comps, if you've ever done a comp before, and this is no knock on it. Okay. Podium winner usually gets a swag bag. So you get a bag of protein, you get a t-shirt, and thumbs up. Um, I, I know that we got popular because we gave, we, we've given four figures to first place every year. You know, and that's cool. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, my accountant doesn't love it, but you know, I, I'm like, it's like um, a bag of cash. I'm like, hey, when I get the podium, I'm like, hey man, you better count this. You know, and, and I give them some cash. And, but I, I think, I think it goes, it's not just the cash, it is the, the athletes feel taken care of. So they show. Love that. Uh, the other big difference from last year is, I mean, Obviously, we were the, we did the live stream last year. Mm -hmm. We love the location, but there is a location change for this year. So I don't know if we can talk about that a little bit, going from um, the Phoenix over to um, uh, One Nation. We can talk about yeah. so, and, and it, there is people in the audience that don't know or just listening and don't know. So the first year was 2020, and it was the pandemic, right? And mm -hmm. the height of the pandemic, and no one knew anything, right? So the first year was in the parking lot. So I was like, <laughs> I really didn't know who's gonna show up. I was like. I remember the date distinctly, July 25th, 2020, in the parking lot in Woodburn, we're gonna throw it out. So athletes showed up, spectators showed up, and I'm like, you know, it was that, it was that time of like, do I wear a mask, do I not wear a mask? I was like, well, if you're an athlete, you're not wearing a mask, but you know, everybody else wear masks, and, and it worked out safely, thumbs up to that. So year two, 2021, uh, it, we planned on being in the parking lot again, and the mandate got lifted like three weeks before, so we had to indoors. So it was one of those things like, oh, we're indoors now. 2022, I had at the Phoenix just because, uh, and all, first off, all the locations are great. Rack House is great. The Phoenix is great. I'm having it at CrossFit One Nation this year. And this is a good thing. It's because the comp keeps outgrowing its spaces. That's the only reason for the move, right? You can only fit so many people in the parking lot. Then when we brought everybody inside, you know, that gym could only fit so many people. The Rack House can fit so many people. One Nation just has a bigger venue. So that's, that's the change. So I'm excited about that. That's awesome. Um, and then I meant to ask about this before, but no. the t-shirts. I know we yeah. briefly talked about them, but have you done a t-shirt every year? Yeah, we do a t-shirt yeah. every year. Uh, it's really like the pipe, the pop icon I'm feeling. For year one was Yonsei. Year two was Lauren Hill. Year three was Alicia that you're wearing right now. And then, you know, I was like, my bras aren't getting any love. And then I was, I was like, all right. And I was, I was rack, racking my brain. And I think some Outcast song came on. And I was like, yay. <laughs> so that's what, that's what There's no, I wish they would, you know, I always feel bad because you're asking these, these great elaborate questions. <laughs> and part of me is like, and I was just sitting at home at 420 one day, and I was like, I'll cast! Yeah. You know what I mean? That's cool, but it's you know fun. I mean? It's fun. That's, it's I mean, fun. that's a big part of it. Um, but as each one also, will say freedom. Yes. That's the bottom behind. I don't know if you want to talk about um, that piece of it a little bit. Yeah. Um, I, get, I, I actually, I, I dance around it a little bit sometimes, because I don't know, and people feel funny about this. The, the first comp was... And it's still the mission, right? Mm -hmm. It was to create, it was 
to bring diversity into the sport of CrossFit. Right? So I look at things in my lens and I'm like, I just want, I want the, the comp to reflect what I see in the gym. In the gym, when you walk in, it's a safe space and I see all these different faces every time. And people were telling me in competition, they don't feel like that. So I look at it and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna keep doing what I do. Now, um, I, I, the reason I struggle with the diversity piece is like, I know I can't solve it, right? But I, at all, actually, but I can control, I can control what happens in that day, that setting. Mm -hmm. So in my head, I think, what do I want? Like, happiness to me is mental and financial freedom. So I don't care what happens that day. If you show up to the competition that is run by, by us, and I will use a singular, I'll use me. If you show up for a competition that is run by me, you should feel welcome and free. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, Boop, put it on a shirt. Love it. So, yeah. And that's been the tagline. That's been the, that's been almost the soul of it throughout all the seasons. Yeah. 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 Cause like it, it, and, and people, and people get funny when you talk, like when you talk about, like <laughs> they do, you know, yeah. it's like, it's like diversity. Like, okay. Like, what does that mean? I'll, 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 I will, I promise I'll land this plane. I've been that's thinking good. about this for a little bit. That's good. <laughs> the DEI of CrossFit, um, the DEI committee, which is now defunct, but that's another story for another podcast. <laughs> calls me every year before the comp competition. And they ask me the same thing. They go, hey, Brian, we love what you're doing with the diversity. Um, how can we help you? And I say, give them the same answer. I go, give me 50K. <laughs> I do. I'm like, I need 50K so I can take care of the athletes, I can take care of the comp, and I can you know, make it as crazy as I want. They go, we can't do that, our hands are tied. I'm like, all right, whatever, no big deal. And then you know, we have a conversation about how we can bring diversity to the sport, and then I remember last year, um, I was dealing with a person, super nice person, I forget their name, I just, so I can't say their name right now. Um, I was talking about like, how to make the games more diverse. And they were like, the same thing, my hands are tied. I was like, all right. I was like, are, are your hands tied? Because I was like, well, look at what you, look at the, the bids for the games you accept. And she was like, what do you mean? She was like, the Northeast gets five bids. The Southeast America gets five bids. Northwest America gets five. Africa gets two bits, mm. one male, one female. So, and uh, I'm not that good at geography. It's continent. <laughs> yeah. So you're telling me that, <laughs> yeah. you're telling me that Seattle, Spokane, Portland, and some part of California that Snoop isn't from gets five bits, <laughs> male, female from the games, and Africa gets one, June 24th, I've got 60 athletes. Three are from Africa, <laughs> like born. Anyway, that's my tangent. <laughs> I like that, that's good. Um, that leads us into a perfect segue yeah. uh, about the athletes. Mm -hmm. So I, just this week, I was, I was on vacation, I was in Aruba. Hell yeah. And I was excited about the comp, so I was, I was sending out messages and I was, I was getting some feedback from the athletes. So obviously I didn't get all 53, but <laughs> Uh, right. we, got, we got some feedback. I asked them some questions. Um, so I do want to talk about the athletes a little bit next. Before I get into the list, anybody, um, any favorites? Who, who, uh, who, did we have, uh, who did we have last year that's repeating? Let's start with that. First off, you think this is my first time doing this? Do I have any favorites? I love all the athletes. All right, all right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fair. It's not my first time doing this, man. Fair. <laughs> How about uh, repeats? Oh, yeah, we got a lot of repeats. It's so many... It's, it, is, it is a good feeling in my heart that a lot mm. of people have come back. Um, yeah. I've got people that have been there three, four years. I, I, got, I got a lot. And, and, and I, I feel bad even shouting them out because I know I'll forget. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll start. And I'm going to obviously, we're not going to hit everybody, but no. I'm going to bounce around based on awesome. where I got feedback from. Yeah. So uh, we'll start with Sam. Sam Kamola. Kamola, I think I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> it's funny you hit, you hit Sam Kamola. And I... I'm, I can get long-winded to all of them, but I'll put, yeah. I'll put Sam, Maddie, and Sarah Rad in the same boat. And I'll make, I'll, I promise you I'm going to land the plane. Right. Um, so <laughs> February, this is, not, I apologize. February 15th, uh, my dad passed, right? Last year, 2022, okay? So like, I was like, ooh, like, it hurts. And it's, mm -hmm. it's not to bore you with details, but that hurt. 
But then the comp comes and I run the comp. Then November 17th, nine months and two days later, my mom dies, right? So I'm like, ah. And like when my dad died, it was a different feeling. My dad died, it was like, like, all right, I'm probably with my friends and then we'll pick the mind off it and then I'll worry about the comp. And my mom, uh, my mom died, I was like, ah, all right. You gotta get your mind off it. So you gotta just train more. So I remember I sent a text to Maddie, Sam, and Sarah. And they were all like, all right, come on, come work out. And they, for like 12 weeks straight, they didn't let me work out alone. You know, I'm talking like, and it wasn't like they weren't training. They were training for, like, they were training for the quarterfinals, they were training for the semis, they were training for the open, and it didn't matter. It didn't matter if it was Tuesday. Because at first it was just a Friday thing. It was like Tuesday, hey, we're doing this workout. Hey, we're doing this thing. And, and they're all in the same boat of like, I don't tell them this because I just don't, but they're all in the same boat of like, they're great and I don't care where they finish. They, you know, they, they have a place in my heart. And like some people out here might be like, well, you know, they were good to you, but you know, I, you know, Justin Wright as well. And Justin, it's not that Justin wasn't good to me. Justin, Justin Wright, for those who don't know, Justin is like one of those cats, like if I sneeze, he's probably saying bless you, wherever he's, you know, it's symbiotic, like I know how he gets down. So for those three to treat me the way they did, and it, they weren't overt about it, like they're, they're good. So That's they'll probably awesome. kick out, they won't finish last, I know that, they'll probably <laughs> kick butt, but they have a special place in my heart forever, so they fall in that same category. <laughs> I love that. Uh -huh. um, so a couple, couple things on him particularly too, this is, this is his fourth year doing it, mm -hmm. so he's on all four years. Um, and he, he also shouted out Justin and Maddie um, mm -hmm. in, in some of the information. I got to put him on blast a little bit on his coffee choice. What's wrong with coffee? <laughs> he says he goes, he goes lukewarm instant coffee <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> all right, man, we all can't be perfect. You know what I mean? I don't know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know where he's at, yeah. but you know, hey, there you go, Sammy. But, uh, <laughs> um, but um, okay, so next one we got uh, Allie, Allie Kessler. Um, she's over at CrossFit Tilt. Yeah. Um, she oh, had, easy. I can. This is. Yeah. I can go eat crap. She got gallbladder surgery. Yeah, yeah. She got gallbladder surgery, and I don't know. I never met the person in my life. She put. She got gallbladder surgery, and then she put on an Instagram. <laughs> Recovering from gallbladder surgery, nothing's gonna stop me from showing up June twenty fourth. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, that's your first post. <laughs> Let's go. Like you're good with me. Yeah, she was. Um, in her, in her information she sent over, she, that was one of the questions she was asking, like, the doctors, like, am I going to be ready for June 24th, so. That's wild. Yeah, me. she's. So she, good yeah, for her. Yeah, so that'll be, that'll be really exciting. She also, um, I don't know if I just saw this from her Instagram or she mentioned it, but uh, she got two dogs, a German Shepherd and uh, American Eskimo, which got a shout out to my fiance, uh, also has an American Eskimo, so. Shout out great to your dog, fiance. Great dog, great <laughs> dog. Shout out. Um, all right, I know uh, another guy who's been here, third year, Malanza. Yeah, he's, 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 he's the epitome of, he's, I love him. I love him since, <laughs> like, I've said this before a million times about him. He's unapologetic, unapologetically him. Mm. Like, he says some things on his Instagram I want to say. I'm like, I can't say that. <laughs> but I'm like, I, 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 that's what the like button's for. I'm like, like. <laughs> um, so a little background information on him, mm -hmm. if people don't know. Uh, he's U.S. Army mm -hmm. and uh, works full time as, uh, in the Army Warrior Fitness Team. Yeah. So, really, really cool stuff he's doing with that. Um, he's a uh, favorite snack. Loves gummy bears. I don't know if you knew that about it's him. Good taste. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean. Um, uh, Ian Ruthier. Yeah, his second year. It's his birthday today. Oh, shout, shout out, to Ian. shout out, Ian. Happy Happy, tw happy you, 25th. <laughs> He's 25? <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, he's back for year two, finished fourth last year. Mm -hmm. So looking to, looking to come back and, and keep pushing the, uh, pushing the pedal to the metal here. Uh, trains over at CrossFit, Crake. Mm -hmm. Crake? Crack? I think it's Crack. crack. I think it's yeah, the Irish. It's the Irish. Somebody Irish. help me out. That's why I'm not <laughs> Irish. Crack, crack is the Irish term for happy. Somebody Google that. <laughs> and uh, his favorite snack is Doritos. He says, nacho cheese all day. I don't F with ranch. Bring on the haters. You know, it's funny you're reading this stuff off to me. Like, a guy like Ian or Ali, I talk to via Instagram once a year. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't know this about it, but that's cool. That's cool. And I'm, there's a lot of other information, but I picked out some of the stuff I that, love was, it. <laughs> that was entertaining. <laughs> um, we also got Ryan Brown. I know you shouted him out on the Instagram mm -hmm. uh, feed recently. Uh, he, he just rode, I don't know if it was a club team or, or from what, headed to Charles, which is a big, 
big crew race. So unfortunate for him, there's not any rowing in the workout. Not 600. Oh, the 600. That's right. 600. I so about that. Yeah. He, he's a. So the cool part is, I do have athletes that are like, have been here like three, four years, but then also have like Ryan Browns. This is people I would have never heard of, especially yeah. me. I'm like, yeah. I am very like, my gym, my people, blah, 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 blah. Like, if I don't go to another gym, I won't mess with you. But like, it, it's got, gotten me closer with people from other gyms. So Ryan Brown is a kid, I don't even, I think he works out at Tiat in Norwood. So I know he works out at Tiat, mm. but like, it's cool to see him. I'm excited. I've never met him. I've never met him in person or out. So That's I'm excited cool. to meet both of them. Awesome. I'm excited to meet all of them. Let's see all of them again. Because it's like a big reunion or like yeah. a big like, what up? That's cool. I like that. Uh, we also got uh, Joshua Beaker coming back. Mm -hmm. um, I remember watching him. He's, he's a fun guy to watch. Good dude. Uh, Trey House, year three. Do I have that right? Yeah, Trey House, great dude. Silent assassin. He's yeah. just a quiet dude. It's like, I wish I would. He has the, the demeanor I wish I had. Yeah. Like <laughs> always show, never like, like I'm, I get jealous of people that are always calm. Yeah. You know, so That's cool. he's a good dude. They're all good people. They're I'm, not, I'm not, and it's not gonna sound like stock answers. <laughs> I like the people in the comp, but I also think it's an energy thing. I think they wouldn't mess with my energy, you know, yeah, totally. regardless. But um, another guy I wanna shout out, uh, I'm gonna get the last name, I'm gonna pronounce it wrong Derek Mwang. Oh, M M W A N G. Brother. Might as well call him Derek. I don't yeah, know. Derek. <laughs> uh, CrossFit uh, champ in Uganda. So that's, he's, he is one of the main, like my thoughts. Yeah. He's the champion of a nation. <laughs> this is how I found out, Derek. I'm going on, um, there's a, obviously the, now in this, in this space, like in CrossFit comps, I'm always looking at CrossFit comps. I'm seeing what they're doing, what they're doing. There's a, uh, I'm blanking on the person's name, so I'll just say the, the gym's name. CrossFit Exclamation always runs these competitions. They run these small comps probably every four months or so. They have scaled an RX, okay? So I see this, this gentleman, Derek, and his Instagram video. It's not only Derek, but his crew. What country is it from again? Uganda. Uganda, Uganda yeah. Right? It's Derek and 15 of his friends from Uganda, and they're cheering. And then I'm not talking like cheering because he won. They're cheering for every burpee he does, every double under he does. When he was on the bike and got off the bike, they cheered. And I was like, okay, that's because because my crowd's a little bit more rowdy than I like to let on, and I like that. And the, the support and the love uh, for a guy like that, and he's the, the fittest guy in the country. He means he's really fit. Yeah. And yeah. nobody, and he's working out into some competition, which shout out to CrossFit Exclamation, but he's just in Burlington, Mass. I almost, I slid into his DMs heavy. <laughs> you know, good, good. I was like, Derek, I need you to be at this competition. <laughs> and to his credit, he was like, nope, like it wasn't even a, maybe he was like, no problem. So I'm excited to, I'm excited to officially meet him. <laughs> um, he, he was funny on some of his answers too. He got, he, for the coffee question, which I obviously I love, I asked you with yeah, the hey, fire, fire, but uh, he said he drinks his coffee between four to seven a.m. So it's a pretty big time slot. And he says likes to listen to music and don't talk to him during his coffee. Oh, I'll no, blame him. Yeah, so don't talk to that <laughs> yeah. man. Don't talk to that man. <laughs> don't talk to him. Um, and is a full time student, which is cool. Oh, uh, we also have Jenna Kilvin. She. Uh, her, the big thing I think that people know about her is she just is graduating high school this year and was playing football over at Littleton. Um, I'm going to forget the position. I think it was nose tackle. Yeah, she was something. Yeah. It's, um, offensive and defensive. Offensive, offensive and defensive line. Tough. I'm a segue to Jenna in a second. Yep. When you say, when I say, a, 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 a CrossFit comp is all inclusive, right? What was wild to me is like, people were like, I wanna be included. So a couple of people, like the teen games, they reached out to me. They're like, hey, I'm 17 years old. I wanna do your competition. And like the old man in me was like, I need to talk to your parents. <laughs> <laughs> so like anybody under the age of like, it, it, for sure, like I talked to their parents. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's funny because Jenna, Jenna's crew was like, uh, uh, they were like, yeah, she's good, she's cool, and she plays, she plays football. And I was like, okay, cool, like, whatever, let's go. <laughs> but I, I, I say this to every athlete, I'm like, hey, talk to your parents first. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. Um, we, and then we got uh, Jacob Hart. 
who's been doing really well, semifinals mm-hmm. athlete. Semifinals Prepping athlete. Remember, he was his second year. He showed up as a replacement with a one-day notice <laughs> last year. So I, I, I remember him distinctly. Good dude. <laughs> um, let's see. I asked a couple questions. I asked one of them was favorite movement. He likes uh, gymnastics. I said uh, most challenging movement. He says that's that's confidential. He's not he's not giving that away. So Ooh. so if we, during the competition, Ooh. no uh, no freebies on that one. <laughs> freebies, I like it. <laughs> yeah. um, he also a, a couple people specifically put for the favorite snack, Mott's gummies, Mott's the the brand. So that's that's one of his Mott's gummies. Yeah. <laughs> Never heard of it. <laughs> yeah, like Mott's apple juice. I think maybe. Oh, like yeah, a apple yeah, juice. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we got uh, kind of all on that same vein for semifinals athlete Aurora. The Aurora's good. Aurora's yeah. good people. She's been with it four years in a row. Uh, she's just uh, another person that has. A, everybody has a big place. No, 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 not everybody. Let me not go cra- get carried away. <laughs> but um, she's a big place in my heart because she's always been a supporter of what's going on. It's 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 cool. It's a it's a good thing that's being built here. And I don't know where it's gonna. I have no idea where it's gonna go. But cool. So far, so good. Um, she had a she had a good response. Um, one of the questions I asked is what inspires you to each mm-hmm. one of the athletes, and she said it was the members, the members of the of the gym. She she coaches across Route One. She also trains over at Milford under a Conquer Athlete. But the members of the gym she coaches at is what gives her her inspiration. So, yeah, I, like I can I can see that. I as a coach, I think there's a I think I've talked about the shared energy, right? And even here, like I, I'm I I don't I just don't live in a space of constantly complimenting, but I got, I'm gonna shout out real quick, everybody in Rictus Boston and everybody here, just people here in general, because it's not it. Um, I think it's easy to wow a crowd once and be like, oh, I'm a coach, hey, what's up? See what I can do. But to like have people show up every day and still try to, I'm not gonna say I'm impressed, try to impress them, but like still have them listen and still, you know, everyone, uh, my football coach used to say this, if we're all wrong, then we're all right. Have everybody pull in the same direction, right? That's a, it's a skill. So I can see where she gets her energy from the members because I, I can relate. That's my point. Love it. Um, let's do, we'll do one more shout out sure. and then uh, we'll, we'll open up for some, some, some Q&A. Hey man, this yeah. is your podcast. <laughs> I'm with it. I, lo- I love this. Go ahead. Um, Sabrina Gordon. So Sabrina Gordon, yeah, she came on, she dropped in here. Uh, she's one of those people, this is how I know the comp, the comp has reach. Because people are asking me to do the comp. And, 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 and I, I, I want to be very humble. That, that when people ask me, how, who am I to say no? Mm-hmm. You know, I do, like, I want to talk to them first. I don't want to be like, hey, you want to do the comp? Like, sure, let's check. I was like, hey, like, okay. You want to do the comp? How'd you hear about us? At least a little conversation. And uh, with her, she was like, I heard about the comp.